You think I forgot to get all the paint off of it before it dried? Yeah, I think it needs to soak for like a week. Maybe I can rescue it? Maybe. Let me see. Oops. I would say good morning, but it's just after lunch. <laughs> anyway, uh, we're having a slow go at it today on Sunday. Uh, mostly because after like a week of insomnia for me, I slept in until almost 10 o'clock this morning. But I finally got some sleep. Okay guys, so we're upstairs in my guest room and um, I was looking for something earlier that I can't find uh, the original artwork for or um, the digital files for on my computer and at this point I don't know if I'm going to find them and how much stuff is up here in the completed artwork and journals pile in the guest room. I don't know if I'm going to ever find them, but what I did find was a bunch of these old, you can't even see, yeah, portfolios, with different sort, sizes, types, and some um, varying contents from the beginning of my journey to more recently. And some of this stuff I want to keep because I do uh, have digital copies of it that I enjoy to use and sell in my Etsy shop. So I want to keep the original some I just want to use and cut it up and do something else with it. Some I'm going to just get rid of and purge and sell in the Etsy shop or give away in a uh, purge box or like it just has to go away. Some of it's really bad. So I'm going to share all the good, the bad and the ugly with you. So I'm going to point the camera towards the floor and we're going to get started. Holy cow. I'll be back. It is Monday morning, January 4th, 2021. Holy crap. Alrighty, so obviously I'm in the car again and we are headed to check the P.O. box and the grocery store. Um, I'm almost out of coffee creamer, so that just can't happen. 
so I need to go get that taken care of working my way around the garbage truck because it is Monday morning and it's garbage day and yeah all the things for the things right First So do you see that? Yeah. Bam. Bambi's out there eating. She's hungry. Morning. <laughs> it's 11.44 a.m. Tuesday, January 5th, 2021. Holy crap. <laughs> anyway, um, we just got done with YouTube Live and did some watercoloring, which went over really well. Everybody was glad to see it, so I was glad to do it. Um, I have an Etsy order I need to wrap up. I have... I have a pile of paper on my desk. I need to work on some things in the calendar and schedule out some things. I need to put out the schedule for Patreon Live, which we're going to start this week, Friday, 10 a.m. So if you aren't a patron, why? Why? It's not that expensive. I'd appreciate the support. Um, anyway, we're going to have classes that are just for them over there, live classes um, starting on Friday. And... Um, my desk is a mess, sorry. And so I'll be doing that and I'm going to be writing into my calendar so I don't forget. I'm also going to be writing in my calendar my Monday to-do list, my Tuesday lives because um, I've just, yeah, I've been forgetting. And I think I'm going to schedule like Thursdays for filming. Um, I need to film the December Project Pan, use it or lose it thing. So <clears throat> I need to do that uh, Thursday. I need to eat something. Good morning, everybody. Uh, it's been quite the morning already. <laughs> it's only 10.08 a.m. Hey, guys. All right, so I don't want to take my gloves off yet because I wanted to film this, and it's messy. Um, so I have a number of fountain pens. I like drawing with fountain pens besides my big crystal. I had one last night that I hadn't used in a while, 
and the ink, although there was ink in the, in the cartridge, it was kind of semi dried up and clogged. And so I fiddled with the pen last night and got it to work, but I thought, why am I going to toss this out? Let me see if I can get the ink to come out or reconstitute it by putting it in a little cup with some water. So I got one of my small cups I use for, you know, acrylic pouring and resin and stuff. It's like a mini solo cup. Um, and I put some water in here and left it sit overnight and we have some beautiful blue ink. And now I need, I need to tell you that once I had it sitting here overnight, there was still like some ink in here. And the best way to like force it out is to like squeeze it with a pair of pliers until you get all of it out and then just tap it down. And it's this beautiful blue color, blue black color. So I am going, I need to make some um, watercolor, little watercolory images of some um, florals, uh, floral inspired things for, to possibly turn into sticker flakes for the Etsy shop. And so I am, was going to just use my watercolors and or gouache, uh, probably the Daniel Smith palette. Um, and then I thought, well, why don't I use some of this on some of them? So we're going to try that. And probably use it in combination with the watercolor paint and see what happens. I'm going to get it.
you think I forgot to get all the paint off of it before it dried? Yeah, I think it needs to soak for like a week. Maybe I can rescue it. Maybe. We'll see. Oops. And just in case you think that was the only one, no, there were three of them that evidently didn't get cleaned very well. And yeah, now they need to soak. Murphy's oil soap and water, put them in a jar, let them soak for at least a couple of days, maybe longer. And then when you take them out, scrape them with a palette knife, the bristles, and maybe they'll get clean. Maybe. Yeah, we'll see. Anyway, good morning, people. It is 9.35 a.m., Thursday, January 7th, the day after everything that happened in Washington, D.C. Um, if you don't know what I'm talking about, look up January 6th on your computer. If you're watching this in the future, it should pop up. Anyway, it's done and over with. We have our new president and vice president-elect, and... I don't know. Hopefully things will calm down now. We'll see. Okay. I don't know if I said this in the vlog clips yet or not until I review them, but I know I posted it on social media that I was working on some watercolors for some new feather sticker flakes. These, because I spent, not only because I wanted to do some new ones, but I couldn't find the old ones and I wanted to rescan them. I found them. So we are going to do a combination of old feathers and new feathers and come up with something really cool. I have a few that I'm not going to rescan and not going to include, at least not at this time, um, but I will keep them. And um, I might have found some more sketchbooks and journals and things that need purging, but not today. Manana, maybe. All right. Um, I'm going to keep scanning. I'll be back. Hey, guys. Good afternoon. It is Friday, January 8th, 2.59 p.m. Well, after lunch, but then it's been a busy morning. I spent about two hours or so uh, Zooming with the supporters and folks over at Patreon. I am uploading a copy of said Zoom with their permission um, to YouTube now. It is an unlisted video. It's a playlist. Um, there'll be a playlist for it and all the other pre, um, future Zooms with them for patrons and supporters who can't be there to watch back later. Um, so that's a thing. So if you want to see some of that, then you need to like join Patreon or something. So um, the link for Patreon is in the video description. I do have YouTube membership people. Um, for the most part, they will get access to the recordings. I'm not sure at this time if they're going to get the lives or not, but the patrons get the lives. So anyway, that's how it's kind of working. If you're a patron and you're watching this and you have a Facebook, please connect with me on Facebook because I do have a chat over there for patrons and supporters. And uh, consequently, if you're a YouTube membership supporter um, and you have Facebook, con uh, make sure we're connected over on Facebook and contact me, private message me, and I'll put you in the chat with the other supporters. We do have a little group chat in Facebook Messenger, and it's easier for me to answer your questions there and also let you know when I'm going to go live and all that stuff, all the things for the things. Um, so anyway... We did that after the live I did some cleaning and I made this little guy I'm going to be posting him on social media later if you don't have any of my art foamies yet why not the links down below there's also some other really great designs and they have frequent specials and sales and um, free gift with purchase and all kinds of stuff so check out art foamies um, I got one of these whoop, this back in a minute glue is drying on this we got I got one of these you know these are like those like aluminum scan proof like wallet things supposedly you put your cards in here and nobody can like scan your info out of your pocket or anything I guess that's a thing anyway I it was like a dollar at the thrift store um we have a thrift store that's walking distance from the house and um so I went there and I picked one up and you can get Eighteen half pans in here. If you turn it into a watercolor palette, so I am in the process of gluing them in. I've got some E six thousand in there, and 
Evidently, there's something sticky on the bottom of that. Um, let's grab a piece of paper. Here we go, and let that dry. So I'm gonna weight that down and let those all dry in there, but that's pretty cool. And it's very small and compact and it would fit easy in a travel art case. Not that we all could go anywhere right now, but you know, I might wanna take a few watercolors and just a notepad of paper and a water brush out on one of my walks and go sit in the park and do some watercoloring. You never know. I also got these two done in today's Zoom chat with the patrons. So we worked on um, recreating uh, recreating a version of this original painting of mine. There we go. I used the same inspiration photo and similar colors and technique. This one is decidedly masculine looking. There we go. More than the other one, I think. And they thought too. But I like the way it turned out. And this one's done on a, a canvas board. I mean, a art board. I may, um, oh, I gotta clean up the edge up there. Um, I'm gonna let it dry and cure for a bit and clean up, clean up that edge. Um, and I will probably put it up for sale in the Etsy shop. It's about, I don't know, eight by 10 or something, nine by 12, something like that. I also did this um, one where I did the same technique for um, my slow stitch portraits, only we did out of paper. So we did a collage portrait um, and there's a specific technique for that. Again, if you want to see how I do that, and we're going to be doing a slow stitch portrait. And if you want to see how I do that, then you need to be a patron because they're going to be have access to the video. So sorry. Uh, oh my God, you guys, are we sure my head's attached? Because I think I forgot it somewhere. Holy cow. I have been to the grocery store. This will be my third time this week. I don't know if it's... COVID fatigue or stress of the political situation or the holidays or all of the above, but I can't seem to remember what should be on my list to save my life. And I just tried to go to the store without my car keys. And of course the parking lot's super people-y because you know, well, let's just go get it done. Good morning, everybody. It is heck bright out here, holy cow. It is Saturday morning, January 9th, just after 11 a.m. Happy birthday to my little sister, Elizabeth. She is 50 something <laughs> Yeah, today. So uh, anyway, happy birthday, Elizabeth. Love you, bunches. So we are down on Main Street in Tigard, showing a few businesses some love today, safely, of course, and um, looking at the vestiges of the rioting that's been going on in our tiny little sleepy town. Some of the businesses, as you can see behind me there, still have boards up. We, we talked to one of the storekeepers. We were just in the stationery store. And um, most of the businesses are taking the boards off during the day and then putting them back up at night because they are, have been advised that they should do that. They're not completely secure in the feeling that things are over so yeah scary times anyway hey guys it is i don't know what time it is 20 minutes to eight saturday january 9th i keep wanting to say sunday and i keep wanting to say september fun fact i don't know i don't know <laughs> it's been yet another weird week and not necessarily in a great way, but we had fun today walking around the antique shop and the stationery store downtown. I bought a few things. I'll put a picture right here. I didn't, we didn't get too much. We don't need too much. I think my favorite thing was this sticker. I think that was my favorite thing. Um, it was on clearance at the stationery shop. I'll be putting, putting that on a journal maybe next month on the cover. So anyway, yeah, it was interesting. Anyway, we also uh, had a home chef meal kit for dinner. Um, this one was Acapulco steak quesadillas. Right? Okay. Yeah, it was pretty good. We need a sour cream. We, 
Yeah. Because that's been a thing this week. We just cannot remember to get everything we need at the store. We're just not writing it. We're not remembering to write it down. I don't know what that is all about. Um, anyway, if you guys would like to see a renewal of the series we had on my channel, Cooking with Fred, a.k.a. him, mm -hmm. um, let me know. Say something down in the comments below. Um, there's a number of different recipes that we'd like to try, including one for sourdough cinnamon rolls. And um, we, have that recipe. we have the recipe and I've got plenty of star I've got enough starter for like five different households. I wish you all were closer. I'd send you some. Um, yeah, so we have and we get home chef kits on the regular generally once or twice a week. Um, they're just an easy way to do dinner without having to plan and without eating too much processed food. So if you'd like to see us work on some of those and argue about the recipe while we're doing it, that happens almost every time. Um, let me know, say something down below. Um, also don't forget to check out the video description for relevant links, uh, links to my page, uh, Patreon links to my Etsy shop. Uh, I do have a newsletter where I will preview announcements of new ideas, new products, sales that are going up in the Etsy shop and all kinds of different things. Um, most of my links for the newsletter and Patreon and everything else are either in the video description or in a link tree list of links, the link for which is down below in the video description. So check it out, uh, look around, support the free content if you can. Um, patrons and YouTube membership people get access to content um, that is unique for them and hopefully that they enjoy. And if you're one of those people and you'd like to see something specific, please let me know. Um, so think about joining that. It's not expensive at all. And I appreciate you supporting the free content here on YouTube. That's one way that you're, you do that. And I'm able to uh, keep up with supplies and different things that y'all want to see. So, um, I'd also appreciate it if you go out and find your favorite content creators, either here on YouTube or over in the Facebook art groups, figure out how you can support them because most of them are hurting right now. And I know that they could appreciate your help. Um, so check out their video descriptions. If you can't figure out how to support them, then ask. Um, I also, by the way, have two Facebook groups. If you'd like to be a member of one or both, the links for those are also in the link tree list of links and my Instagram. If you want to follow me and see what craziness I get up to on a daily basis over on Instagram. Anyway, I think that's it for the spiel. I think, um, there's new stuff coming out all the time right now in the SE shop. So, and there's a lot of big changes coming up. So stay tuned. Uh, don't forget to stay safe, stay healthy, stay creative. Please wear your mask and go out and do something nice for yourself because you deserve it. And I'll see you later. Bye guys.